really happy to be here with Erica O'Kane. So this is the third interview we've done together this year, I believe. And so you might want to check out the other two interviews. I think there were uh, helpful insights in those other ones as well. And uh, I was just remarking how it, at each interview, you, we, the first interview, you had longer hair, <laughs> the second interview, shorter hair, and now we've got even shorter hair. So I, <laughs> you're going to be talking about that. And uh, uh, anything else you want to say? Well, may, you know, I'll let you practice your intro today as, <laughs> as usual. And I know uh, things are transitioning. So uh, your intro will, will be, you'll be different than last time, I'm sure, but go ahead and go ahead and share with us. Yeah. So I have made a pivot in the business from technolo technological stuff to spiritual work. And what I call it is realign your resonance. So it really is about getting back in line with the truth, of, you know, the divine truth of who you are. It's so easy to get out of alignment with that because, you know, the world <laughs> and just living. And so I really, I help people get back in alignment with the truth of who they are. That's wonderful. And um, your shirt is a part of that too. Show us your shirt. Love comes in all flavors. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. So uh, given that I just raised the point about um, the, the shorter and shorter hair, tell us about this, like your, uh, yeah, your, your, your thoughts around changing your hairstyle. So I am a huge fan of change your life, change your hair. And over the past six or eight months, my life has been changing pretty, especially the past month dramatically. Yeah. And what I realized was I needed to shed all of the energy that was stored in my hair. And so about a week ago, I would took the clippers and went and just <laughs> shaved it all off. I've been threatening to do that for three years yeah. because there's been a lot of change over the past three years. Yeah. But I finally was like, okay, this change is particularly big that it is time to release all the energy that's been held in my hair. And I'm probably going to shave it again in another week or two just to make sure I got all of the old energy out. <laughs> that's awesome i love i love the courage and uh well you feel much lighter literally so <laughs> and yeah physically yeah. and energetically it's yeah. just it takes such a weight off for me yeah. i know not everybody can do that and not right. everybody wants to do yeah, that of course and and then there are a lot of people who don't understand why i did it yeah because this is a major season of change for me right now yes and yeah for me it was a ritual and it was symbolic of yeah. okay i'm shedding that portion of my life and now it's time to pick up and start fresh totally yeah i love it and this may <laughs> just give the courage to someone else watching who's been making wanting to make that kind of life change not necessarily hair but some other mm -hmm. some uh, some other life change they've been they've been threatening to make <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah it, it, it might it might just give the courage so um, I want to talk about um, this new, uh, you know, area that you're playing with. I mean, you've always, even with your tech work, been doing spiritual work. It's okay. always been spiritual work, um, the way that you do it. Now you're focusing on it much more. Um, okay. Tell us about realigning resonance. How does, yeah, what does that mean for for you and how do you help your clients to do that so what it means for me is i spent the past two years um turning myself inside out to fit inside of a situation and then all of a sudden the situation was really no longer working and so thus gigantic change in my life so i'm getting a master class in realigning my own residence right now <laughs> Uh, and I feel like life always prepares us for what we do. Um, you know, we have to be one or two steps ahead of our clients. <laughs> um, but, you know, for my clients, it's really about just being present with them. Because it's so much of life these days is go, 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 be, 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 or, you know, go and do instead of, hey, who are you? What feels right for you? And, you know, resonance to me is a state of body. When I am in resonance with the truth of who I am, it's a very distinct feeling in my body. 
And so what I do is I help people really reconnect with the wisdom and the knowledge and the truth that's stored in their bodies. Because, yeah, I no longer have the luxury of ignoring my body's wisdom. That stuff usually ends me in the hospital. You know, I'd like to not be in the hospital. (laughs) And so, you know, coming back into alignment and resonance, you know, I'm not a doctor, nor do I play one on TV. (laughs) And also, there's so much, so many symptoms that can be alleviated by stopping for a moment and coming back into alignment and resonance with our truth. Yeah. Wow. It, and this kind of resonance, like you said, is uh, like if, if it's not their symptoms come out and yeah. And you've, you've, you've had big enough symptoms that actually, you know, landed you in the hospital yeah. and, and you, um, you can speak to that and you know, you're, but so many of us have the smaller symptoms um, mm-hmm. that we can easily ignore or you know it, it, it's so subtle right like to 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 find mm-hmm. that resonance within us but the the, mm-hmm. the physicality of the symptoms is a signal of, of of that subtle and eventually not so subtle misalignment of the resonance um yeah do you, eventually the body's uh, going to hit you with a two by four <laughs> yeah <laughs> and yeah. it's really a lot better if you listen to it before the two by four hits, because it's a lot easier and a lot more painless to realign from that time, rather than when, you know, the two by four has hit you and you're like, oh, right. Mm, whoops. <laughs> yeah. And and how do you go about doing that in your own, in your own life, um, the realignment? Like, is there, are there particular practices or particular um yeah i guess exercises that you do that help you to find it again yeah well like we did right before uh we went live with this interview it's just taking a moment to breathe and slowing down and coming into that breath and letting the body slow down at the same time you know letting the body kind of settle because when the body settles it's it's like a, a lake. You know, if you're tossing rocks at it the whole time, you can't see anything at the bottom. But if you stop and let it settle and let it soothe, oh, look, there's rocks at the bottom of the lake, you know, especially for those really clear lakes. And I think we can all be a clear lake. We just have to stop throwing rocks at it so often. I love that analogy. Mm-hmm. And that's so true with our own selves as well. Yeah, taking a pause, letting the body settle. And it's like it's it's not something to do like once a day, you know. It's like something to do throughout the day a lot. You know? mm-hmm. Yeah. And um you had mentioned uh about how life prepares us for the work that we do. And that is so true if we're willing to be aware of what those lessons are that we can then bring into the world uh, to serve others um tell us more about that like like that's actually part of realigning with who we are right like this this uh, this like the this observation of the life happenings and not saying oh why did this happen to me Mm -hmm. and you know why is it was like complaining about or not complaining but just but it's like reframing it Right. So tell, tell, yeah, tell us more about, about that, that side of things for you. Well, you know, life happens. It just does. And what ends up happening is, you know, to take a moment and just look at the bigger picture, you know, and to realize, oh, wow, this situation isn't what I thought it was. I don't like this situation. I don't want this situation. And also, this is what's true right now. I think the the most basic principle of any of this stuff is this is what's true right now. Because if we can't get to what's true, then you got nothing to build on. 
or you're building your foundation on sand and it's going to shift and move and it's not a solid place to build that foundation. But yeah, I have a friend of mine who uh, had a big old crow tattoo on one of her arms and it says, know thyself. And that to me is the key piece is really to know yourself. And that's the solid foundation because how do you know what you're realigning towards if you don't know who you are? You know, it's like, because each of, I believe each of us carries our own specific energy and our own specific resonance. Um, and how can you get back in line with that if you don't know what it is? If you don't, have, for me, it's a felt sense. It's a body sense of, oh, right. This is who I am. Because when I am in resonance with who I am, I'm peaceful. I'm calm. You know, not much rattles me when I'm in that space. When I'm way out of that space, anxiety, depression, freaking out, yelling when something happens weird, you know, that throws me off. That's not the truth of me. That's my reaction to things. And that's me being out of resonance with the truth of who I am. You know, that level of peace that comes when you're really, you know, when you are being who you are. Yeah. So mm-hmm. tell us more about that. Um, the the times when we, I mean, just like I say, life happens. Um mm-hmm big events happen and -hmm. small events that you know continually throw us off happen as well Mm -hmm. how do you keep coming back to it how do you keep coming back to that that resonance um yes the 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 breathing and the settling um Mm -hmm. but is there anything any other um yeah any other practices or tips that you have for that well sometimes the fact of life happening brings us back (laughs) You know, big situation happens and you're like, whoa, okay. That, that was, you know, flashing neon sign is, "Mm -mm, no, come back, you know? Um, Yeah, a lot of times it is life as signposts, you know? And also having, for me in this, you know, gigantic season of change, um, I've moved halfway across the country um, and it's been, you know, loads of upheaval. And I've had a group of about five or six people who are my people. And when I'm starting to freak out, I get on the group chat and I'm like, okay, y'all help me out because people are pack animals. We cannot do this life alone and expect to get anywhere to where we want to go really. And so, you know, sometimes it's being able to be back in resonance with, you know, my people, you know, to check in and be like, ah, um, you know, one of my dear friends who is also a part of your community, you know, she has told me, and this has gotten me through so much. It's not about what's out here. It's about loving myself more. And that, coming back to that phrase, has been such a huge, huge help for me. Because, you know, when I want to get discouraged and when I want to get mad and when I want to get all out of sorts, okay, it's time to love myself more. And let me just tell you, that is not a simple task. Well, it's a simple task, but it sure ain't easy. (laughs) We've been so conditioned to be outside of loving ourselves, you know? And so just that reminder of, you know, you got to love yourself more. Right on. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's all, because you are, you are the, you are your, uh, your closest friend. (laughs) You're the one who's always (laughs) with you. (laughs) Right. uh, You know, Um, so yeah, this is, this is very applicable whether or not your people are going through stuff or or not, because mm-hmm. um, being in this life is, well, being in this life is continually challenging. You know, we think uh, 
if whether things are going well or not, it's like, oh, there's, there's a challenge of, you know, around the corner, or if we pay attention uh, to the opportunities around us, um, and we activate ourselves to those opportunities, then we, we will be challenged, and we will, we will need mm -hmm. to grow, and we will need to come back to loving ourselves more. Um, so tell us more about when you start to work with clients in the spiritual space, um, what, what is, what does that look like? Like, what is the, the shape of that work? Um, yeah. Tell us anything you want about that part. What that usually looks like is really kind of saying, okay, what's going on in your life? What do you need right now? What do you want right now? How is that different than what's currently showing up? And then it's just a whole lot of listening. Because 99 times out of 100, people will talk their way into exactly the truth. Yeah, you know, they'll kind of circle and circle and circle and it's a spiral. And then, you know, a well-placed question here or there. And then at the end, so what I heard you say was, and half the time, like, oh, man. <laughs> and honestly, that's my favorite thing to do is just listen and listen and, you know, question here, question there. And when they're you know, right at that, that moment, just be like, so is this what you're saying? And then they realize, ah, yes, that's, you know, and it's, <clears throat> excuse me, sometimes it's a, oh, that's fantastic. And sometimes it's like, rah, 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 rah. Because, you know, you've hit it, you, you've hit the spot of what's going on and what needs to shift. And I love working with people who cuss me out when I, you know, I ask that question because it's, it's one of those where it's like, okay, you understand the assignment, you know what's going on. And it's just a matter you need, you needed someone to hear what you were saying and hear what you're not saying and tie the threads together. Yeah, absolutely. It, um, to, to be able to have that kind of safe, supportive space, that insightful mm -hmm. space to look at the signposts, <laughs> you know, in exactly. our lives, right? And, mm -hmm. and to reflect on that um, mm -hmm. towards the truth towards the the resonance of who we are uh mm -hmm. is, is so valuable and so the work you do with your clients is yeah it's um life shifting and life settling and uh mm -hmm. that's wonderful um well and sometimes it's really hard to it, or impossible to do this for ourselves because we're so in the middle of our own storm and so to have somebody look in and go okay, this is what I'm seeing, you know, whether it's what you've said, what you haven't said, the energy that I'm feeling, words that are coming to me, to be able to say, okay, this is the picture I see. Is this the picture you see? And here's where you say you want to be. And here's where I see you are. What steps can we take to make those the same? Yeah, absolutely. I love that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um having the outside um perspective and and then like witnessing oneself finding that truth and mm -hmm. finding the next steps is mm -hmm. uh, is very powerful. Um so what yeah how 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 do people uh start working with you what's the what's the next step for them? Well, they can go to my website, soulfulsupport.com slash schedule and book a free 15 minute appointment so that we can see, you know, is this a good fit? What do you need? What do I offer? You know, how can we work together? Or if it's not a good fit, I know plenty of other people who could be. And I'm not afraid to say, you know what, that is not my expertise, but this person over here is I think they're going to be great for you because I feel like my vision of the divine is as a diamond from that is lit from within. 
every bit of creation is a facet of that diamond. And some of those facets are going to be in resonance with us and some of them aren't, and that's okay. You know, I really love working with people who are facets that are in resonance with me because it makes the work easier. It doesn't have to be a slog. It doesn't have to be, I'm not saying it's gonna be easy because personal work often is not. <laughs> and also it doesn't have to be harder than it has to be. I love that. That is a beautiful vision. And uh, yeah, that's great. I love that. Mm -hmm. um, thank you. Thank you for that. And any other, uh, any parting words to, to those who are in search of their own resonance. Breathe, listen to your body. <laughs> and if you want support, reach out. There you go. Couldn't have said it better myself. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Erica, for the work that you do and how you do it. And um, it's a it's an honor to witness your own searching and discovering of the resonance in your own life. Well, thank, thank you, you, George. It's always great to talk with you. Yeah, thank you so much.